So in today's session, let us see a one more C programming for converting the binary equivalent to the decimal equivalent. So in the previous session, we have seen the conversion of uh, decimal to binary. Now the reverse program. So how to convert the binary equivalent to the decimal value? So as we know, the binary, I mean. binary to decimal value so as we know that the binary number is the sequence of zeros and ones so here the input is the sequence of zeros and ones so here we can uh, I am taking that uh, sequence of zeros and ones as a single number so we can also consider it an array and we can perform the logic but here I am taking the input as a normal integer number so integer with a sequence of zeros and ones for example 101 is a binary equivalent of decimal 5 so here I am taking it as 101 101 and for 10 we know that 1010 is a binary equivalent here in this program, in our program, I am considering it as 1010. So here I am taking the complete binary format as a single integer value. Right? So by considering the single integer value, we can perform the conversion. First, let us see the conversion process, then we will go to the program so that it will be clearly understood. Now, so if it is 101, we need to convert this to decimal. So in the reverse process, so how, how we have uh, uh, got this 101? We are taking the decimal value and dividing with 2. So for conversion of binary to decimal, we have to multiply with 2. The powers of 2. The powers of See, 101, 101. So start from the rightmost to leftmost, 2 power 0, 2 power 1, 2 power 2. And multiply this one, 1 into 2 power 0, 0 into 2 power 1, 1 into 0, 2 power 2. Add all these things. Right? So, this gives uh, 1 into 2 power 0, 1. This gives 0 into 2 power 0, 0. This gives 4. Add all these things, we get a 5. Let us consider 10. 1, 0, 1, 0. So this is 2 power 0, 2 power 1, 2 power 2, 2 power 3. We have to multiply this with the sequence of 1s and zeros, and then this result is 8, this result is 0, this result is 2, this result is 0. So add all these things, obviously we will get 10. So this is a simple process for conversion. So for this, we have to get this bit, the last bit. So, with that, we have to start the power of 2. Multiply with the power of 2 power 0. So, these 1s and zeros, all these 0, 1 powers, so we can consider it as i. Right? For getting this one, so we have seen the um, Armstrong number, right? So, where uh, we have seen the logic for uh, getting the individual digits. So how to get an individual digits? Here also we will perform only the mod operator and the division operator. So if we divide this number with 10, we, if we perform them, this number mod 10, we will get the least significant bit. 
so 1 0 1 mod 10 it gives the least significant significant bit now again we have to update the value so then 101 divided by 10 it gives the next number and we have to repeat the same until n greater than 0 and we have to stop this process whenever the n reaches to 0 the same logic will apply and after getting this reminder we have to product with so multiply with 2 power 0 as it is the first one in the first iteration 2 power 0 in the second iteration 2 power 1 in the third iteration 2 power 2 so we have to add all these things we have to add all these things that is the only logic we have to uh, add additionally for this program so let us write the program so that you can clearly understand and then we will trace the program see it's also a very simple program so everything depends upon the arithmetic operators the division and the modulo that's the importance of arithmetic operators see so i'm writing some main i have to read the n value so directly i'm reading the n value i'm not writing the printf statement so directly i'm reading the n value scanf percentage d ampersand n so i have uh, i will get the uh, n value right then next Re repeat the loop until n greater than 0 same find the remainder where n mod 10 now we got the first bit so what we have to do we have to product with the 2 power 0 and we have to sum with the next iteration result so for that purpose we will use sum is equal to sum plus so for every iteration the power will be uh, uh, i mean calculated and then the resultant will be added to the particular variable sum plus so we have to product this remainder into 2 power 0 so as it is a first iteration so remainder into so we can use the power function right so we have to include the math dot h here so power of 2 comma so for the first iteration it must be 0 in the second iteration it must be 1 in the third iteration it must be 2 and so on so how many n number of digits so the, the value will be incremented 1 by 1 for every iteration so I will just write it as i and I will initialize i is equal to 0 here. So first iteration i is equal to 0. Now we have to update the n value so that the condition will be failed at one step. So n is equal to n divided by 10. So this step will give, will update the n value. right? So updating the n value is most important because if you are not updating this n value, so this statement will, this condition will never become false. So here we are updating the n value so that here the condition will become fail at particular instance. Now, so after updating the n value, we have to increment the i value. So for the next iteration, i must be 1. So i plus plus. Right? Close. Now, after completion of all the iterations, where, will, where is the result? The result will be in sum. So write print percentage d sum close the program. So that ends your program. It's a very 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 simple simple thing. Now declare all the variables which we have used in the program. So int n so here we are considering the sequence of bits as a integer value so if you consider 10101010 so this cannot be initialized to a normal integer 
because the integer range is limited. So for this purpose, we have to declare the n value using a modifier, right? So first I will declare the, all the normal variables, integer variables, and then I will declare the log. So int i, and then the remainder, and then sum, sum is equal to 0. As it is an output variable, sum is equal to 0. So that's it. Now, use a modifier, long int i. So here use ld, scanf ld, percentage ld. ld is the type space for ld for reading the integer value. So that it can read n number of, I mean, the any sequence of uh, zeros and ones. Now let us trace this one so that you will, your doubt will be clarified. Now let us trace this. Let us take n is equal to 1010 and initially i is equal to 0. Now, first iteration n is greater than 0, that is true. Reminder is equal to n mod 10. So, 1010 mod 10, which gives 0. Right? Sum is equal to, so initially sum value is 0 plus remainder value 0 power 2 power 0. Obviously it will be 0 because here we are using the power 0, here multiplication, we are performing the multiplication with 0, the sum will be 0. The initial value of sum is 0, so sum is equal to 0. Now n is equal to n by 10, 1, 0, 1, i plus plus, i is equal to 1, right? So this is the result of first iteration. Coming to the second iteration, so again, check the condition, n greater than 0, 101 greater than 0, here a, 101 greater than 0, that is right here, 101 greater than 0. So remainder is equal to 101 mod 10. So 101 mod 10. That means 100. 10 tens are 100. The remainder will be 1. Now calculate the sum. Sum is equal to. So a previous value 0 plus. Here I write. 0 plus the remainder value 1 into the power of 2 comma i value is 1 that is 1 into 2 power 1 so as the multiplication is having the highest preference we have to perform this one 1 into 2 and then we have go to the addition that implies the result is 2 so sum is equal to 2 then update the n value n is equal to 101 by 10 obviously it will be 10 as it is an integer value, right? So I update the i value, so i is equal to 2, right? i is equal to 2. Now again, n greater than 0, so 10 greater than 0, this is 2. And then the remainder is equal to 10 mod 10, 0. Sum is equal to, sum is equal to previous sum, that means 2 plus the remainder 0 product power of 2 2 power i i value 2 so this will become 0 so the result will be 2 1 and n is equal to update the n value 10 by 10 it is 1 i is equal to 3 again 1 greater than 0 the condition is true the remainder 1 mod 10 here also the numerator is less than the denominator so the obviously the mod operator gives the result as only the numerator so remainder will be 1 now calculate the sum sum value previously 2 plus remainder 1 into power of 2 comma i i value is 3 that is 2 cube 
1 into 2 cube. Again, we know the precedence. So, first this will be uh, calculated and then this will be calculated. So, 2 plus 8 that is equal to 10. So, here the sum is 10. N value. N is equal to 1 by 10. 1 by 10. Obviously, it is 0. And I is equal to 4. Next, the condition check. 0 greater than 0. Condition false. The condition is false. Automatically, the control comes out from the loop and printf percentage d sum. So, the value of sum will be printed as 10. So, our binary equivalent is 1010 and the decimal equivalent is 10. Now, let us divide 2, 2 5s are 10, 0, again 2, 2s are 4, 1, 2, 1s are 2, 0. So we have to arrange from bottom to upper. So 1, 0, 1, 0. That is our end value. This is a very simple problem, a simple program. So only the mod operator and the division operator are required. So for conversion of either decimal to binary or binary to decimal. The logic is same. Only one statement will be added in this binary to decimal. So hope you understood this uh, simple program. So if you have any doubts uh, regarding the C program, uh, feel free to post your doubts in the comment section so that I will definitely try to clarify all your doubts. And if you really understood my videos, so like my videos, share my videos with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. And thanks for listening and supporting. Thank you very much.